In the last video, we created a couple of new blocks, uh, new columns rather. Those were blocked in testing, and these columns are specifically handy when you want to customize your both bases on your Scrum or Agile need. How about adding multiple swim lanes? What are swim lanes? Swim lanes allows you to easily screen your data by classifying in different lanes. So you have these lanes like new block testing active resolve closed you can add lanes just like lanes you have in swimming pool you can add lanes right over here and you can choose to view items by different categories what are these categories you can categorize by basis on responsibility releases severity if you have working on multiple companies you can have multiple swim lanes for multiple co companies on the same azure devops board uh, it helps you to group data and offer customized view for efficient analysis of your data enough of theory how do you create those swim lanes so you go to the toggle right over here and underneath the board you have something called a swim lane just below the columns you click on the swim lanes and at the moment it doesn't have any how do you add it you click on the plus sign over here and let's suppose you're working on um, for different companies maybe company a and you have one more company company apologies for the spellings company B and you have one more company called as company C let's suppose all the information about these companies you want to maintain on the same board how do you do that you do that using the swim lanes and now that you have all the companies right in front of you what you can do is you can move your cards or items bases on the work done for these companies so maybe for company C you're adding the UI button maybe for company B you're writing test cases which goes to the testing for company A probably you're creating infrastructure and this goes to the active state and you kind of see that all your swim lanes has their own cards at the moment you can also it's not only about bifurcating databases in the company you can probably do something like as you want to see which all stories you need to expedite so you could add swim lanes like expedite maybe let's offer priority so you can call them as priority b and you can create those swim lanes now with priority a maybe one of these uh, documentation is your priority so you move it to the expedite and you move it to the active and you kind of get a glimpse that which all stories which all cards needs to be expedited these are the stories which needs to be worked really uh, harder and these needs to be moved or resolved pretty quickly so that's about the swim lanes it kind of helps you to categorize your databases on the company basis on the priority or service level as well all right let's move on to the our sprint and let's probably look at few of the other cool features so you have got the sprint so as you can see that we have a sprint one right over here you want to identify your cards bases on probably as soon as you look at the board the sprint rather you want to classify the cards based on certain rules based on certain colors in the last video we saw how you can kind of color code highlight your tags how about highlighting the cards right over here it kind of gives you a glimpse of what is happening inside so maybe you want to color code all the stories which are with priority one maybe you want to color code any story which are resolved or which are new how do you do that you go to the settings button right over here you go to the style go to the styling rule and you add a rule right over here that is for maybe assigned you want to give it a rule name and choose the color coding give it a red name and you want to make sure that if 
the story is assigned by certain users maybe AKS DevOps Shan in my case you want to color code that particular story as red that card as red so you see that all the cards are now become red or whatever color it is um, because these stories were created by AKS DevOps and were assigned to AKS DevOps Shan this particular user and that's why they're kind of color coded and you kind of as soon as you open your sprint you get a high level overview that which card belongs to which color and what color is the significance of that particular card so so there are a bunch of rules available if you go to the styles again you would see that if you click on the style you would see that there are multiple options available right over here changed by whom board lane closed iteration resolve tags and things like that so you can color code bases on your requirement all right that's pretty much all for now i'll see you in a while